Okay, so imagine you just woke up, it's the weekend, you're tired and you don't want to get out of bed. So you grab your phone, you open Instagram and you see a photo of a model. You think to yourself, she's really cute. So you go on Google and you search for porn. You see many videos, hours go by, and you already fapped like six times. And it's already night. So your day just went by and you did nothing. Now think about it. Think that you're seeing every person on earth. And then realize that hundreds and thousands of people are doing the same thing how does that make you feel doesn't it sadden you to know that so many men are just wasting their time and procrastinating while fapping and the saddest part is that there are kids doing it too. 10 year old kids. It's, it's just depressing. But then viewed from another perspective. It's just the friction of an organ. Is it worth it for a tiny bit of pleasure think about all the shame you feel afterwards it's it's very sad and instead of trying to fix this addiction most people are just blaming the actresses in the videos when the ones to blame are more the people behind the video, the producers. But then at the same time, it's also your fault. And many men kill themselves because of it. When you think about it, there's actually no reason no benefit no matter how many videos there are where people say that it's good because of that or it helps you with something else the cons are just too many it's not good for you no matter how you look at it and you may already know that but you think to yourself how am i supposed to stop i know all this but I still can't and that's why I made this video I'm gonna show you some ways that may help you they help me a lot and I'm not doing it I've been on, on nofap for two months already so without further ado here are the things which helped me the most and which I hope will help you too. Number one is deleting all social media or if that's too hard for you at least limiting your time on Instagram or TikTok or Facebook because the moment you see the photos of models of videos with girls shaking their ass you automatically think about jerking off and the moment you forget about fapping it's the easiest to abstain from fapping number two is telling someone because it's easier when you don't want to disappoint a friend or a family member and you'd be surprised if you think that they're gonna have a bad reaction because 
they most probably have the same problem as you. I'm referring to a friend or if you have a sibling who's about the same age as you. And even if you're telling your mom or your dad, it's still a good thing. They won't be harsh about it. They most probably will look forward to helping you. So that's number two. Number three is a contract. You can either make a contract with yourself or with multiple people. But the most important thing is that you write down consequences which are productive. Let's say, for example, if I relapse, I shall only take cold showers for the next month or so. And it's this contract is firmly tied to number two, where I talked about telling other people. Because when you tell other people and you make a contract, you are less likely to break that contract because you don't want to disappoint them. And that's about it. Ciao.